Hey guys, it's me. After a couple months of being silent as far as real content, I'm very sorry. I'm being a very shitty YouTuber, but I'm going to let you guys know where I've been, what has been happening on my end, just so you could know that I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not gone from YouTube. I have not stopped, but I've recently been doing a lot. I have been working my two jobs. I have been doing my side business on Etsy, which you can find below with tarot reading. I also have been making a lot of plans because, guys, <laughs> the new album, The Gallows Tree, which is basically my studio produced debut, is officially in my hands. All 13 tracks in all of their glory. A few of them you've heard already, but there are some new songs. And yes, the new songs almost all have Hurdy Gurdy on them. Super excited to show you guys soon. But before I even talk about my album, I wanted to let you know where I'm at. So, it has come to my attention that I have been doing way too much. <laughs> I started a new YouTube channel, which the first episode is up at this point, I just published it a couple of days ago. It's basically true crime and paranormal stuff, which is a side passion of mine that I very much enjoy. And I thought that I would get more involved with you guys in that community. If you want to give it a follow, it'll be linked down below as well. Um, I also have been doing a lot of planning for the actual release of The Gallows Tree. <sighs> I have two music videos I'm trying to film. And right now it is going... You know, one of them, I kind of already have an idea of what I want, where to go. I already have all the costume pieces ready. The only thing I might need to do is make a dress if my current dress doesn't fit me that well. The one that's in my closet. <sighs> the thing is, I was also hesitant on using that dress because I was supposed to use it for a suddenly silent thing. Which, speaking of, that's the other thing that I've been doing. I have been actually getting suddenly silence content completely done with my mates so that we could get that album out to you guys ASAP. It's sounding great so far. The only thing is, is that we're being held back a lot by scheduling. We're being held back a lot by just, you know, the creative process itself taking a while. And um, we're trying our best to get it out there ASAP. And it's going to be great. It's going to be well worth the three years worth of waiting. Yeah, it's been three years at this point, And I'm beginning to be like, ah, about that. So about the gallows tree. <laughs> like I said, I'm planning two music videos, and um, one of them I have an idea of what I want, but I have to wait for it to snow in order to film anything. And the one that I'm currently planning, the one that I need to fucking finish planning because I have the sketchbook with the storyboard that's only halfway done, I can't find a space to film it, and it sucks because um, I'm a small artist, I'm independent, and... When it comes to planning things like this, I'm not very good at it. I try my best, but usually it just ends up being filmed in my garage or something, which this time I'm trying to actually get a real space, an actual space where I could actually do something pretty cool. But that's very hard to find without putting myself into a financial rut for God knows how long. I work two jobs and I still barely get by. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, I'm not happy or anything, but it's just hard to pursue the creative stuff when I'm having a rough time actually supporting myself. And, um, you know, it's the holiday season, everyone's in the spirit of giving, but I don't like asking for help. But if you do want to help, I started a Ko-Fi page down below. It's a $5 a month membership, I think, plus whatever you commission me to do if you want something from me. But you don't have to. I'm not saying that in order to be considered a true fan of my music, you have to do that. It's 1000% appreciated though if you do, because that actually will help me get things planned out and out to you a lot faster. Because I'm beginning to find like just from exploring everything and learning more about the industry itself there's so much money that goes into it man i had no idea like i actually recently 
have been under the mentorship of Lindsay Schoolcraft, who was a member of Cradle of Filth and is recently doing very well with her solo career, which is amazing. But she told me that like I shouldn't have to put a hole in my wallet that much. But I am beginning to realize like, wow, everything costs so much. Like just to make 50 copies for the few that want physical copies of the Gallows Tree, that's gonna be over like $300. And I'm just like, wow, dude, that's like half of my paycheck. <laughs> it's just stressful, but I'm trying my best to make do with what I have. I'm trying to make do and get something that's really great out to you guys. The production of the album itself was very costly, but I managed that part already. That part's already done. The masters are in my hands. I just want to get some printed copies, a couple of t-shirts maybe, out to whoever wants some. Keywords being whoever wants some, because ordering batches is very costly. But I just want to do something, you know, just something, because having a physical copy of my album to me would just feel really surreal. It's something that I've dreamed about since I was a little kid to finally have my music on an actual disc in front of me, studio produced, and have people actually want a copy. There are people that actually want a copy of my album and I can't even fucking fathom that. I'm just like, what? <laughs> Once again, I am a completely independent artist. My friend Morgan helps me produce all the music, and I literally work my butt off to try to get every part of it sounding good. He works his ass off. He had to work so hard on this album, and it sounds fucking great. Like, you guys are gonna be like, what? I swear, like, I still cannot fucking believe that I wrote this music. <laughs> I can't believe I wrote it, and it's like, oh my gosh. I can't wait to share it. But that's kind of where I've been. It's just mostly been a process of planning, a process of figuring things out financially, and a process of trying to get myself discovered before I make any announcements because I want people to listen to this album. I want people to know of its existence because I spent three years of my life putting so much love, care, and work into this music and it's finally getting out there and I don't want it to go unheard. I want people to listen to it. I want them to feel inspired. I want them to feel like, you know, chasing your dream on your own is enough. It would just make me so happy if even a couple of people listen to it. Which, man, there's 848 of you on here now. I have no idea how the hell that happened. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Holy crap. I did not ever think in my life, 848 freaking people listening to my music and listening to me sing covers and just straight up follow me. I'm just like, what? I never thought that I'd reach past 100, to be honest. When I first started this YouTube channel, it was all just putting it out there into existence in hopes of people seeing. And it's starting to happen and I'm just like, okay. Now I have to make everything amazing. And that's why recently I felt very burnt out. I felt like I needed a break. And I have taken a pretty long break. I did an audiobook gig, which you can find um, on Amazon. All you gotta do is type in my actual name, Jacqueline Gomez, and it will pop up. Um, I also have been trying to just chill. My voice went out again for like a month because of allergies and season change and I just overall just felt burnt out just from just constant content creation, which Lindsay told me as of recent, you don't have to make so much content and consistency is bullshit. Like don't burn yourself out trying to just endlessly create. It's not going to help you physically or mentally. My physical health has been declining. I get to go see a doctor in November about that. Yay. <laughs> but I've just been trying my best to get things out in an efficient manner. It's just a little bit rough around the edges. I'm working out the kinks though. Lindsay helped me out a lot. She gave me a few tips and now I'm going to start really 
focusing and laser lining on making my musical dream a reality. It's been a really rough journey, but I think from here you can only go up, right? So here's to getting stuff finally figured out. Here's to stuff finally happening and me actually taking the full initiative instead of holding myself back because of self-doubt. Because the more you doubt yourself, the more you realize that things are never going to happen. In order to make things happen, you have to make it happen. You are the key to making your life what you want it to be. And that's what I've come to realize as of late. I'm getting this album out to you guys. I'm going to be hopefully making the big announcement pretty soon here. And hopefully within the next few weeks I'll have a music video at least shot for you guys. I, again, just need to find that space. Anyways, I'll update you guys more later. I'm sorry to have made this a lot longer again. Please like and subscribe if you want to join the community. And if you want to help out the music and content creation, the Ko-Fi is below. Again, five bucks a month. You don't have to do it. I'm not asking. I'm just saying, like, if you want to help out with content creation, it's there. And a little goes a very long way. Every single penny that I make there is going straight to the creation of any of the videos and any of my music that you're going to be hearing from myself and the band. It's going to help immensely. And if you do it, I 1,000 billion trillion percent fucking appreciate it because life's fucking hard, man. This winter, I'm going to put out more covers since I'll have a little bit more time on my hands. And hopefully, by the end of the month, I will have an announcement for you. But until then, thank you all so much for supporting my music and for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate every single bit of love and support that you guys give to me. It's freaking phenomenal that anyone even does. And I hope to see you guys on the next update and the next videos. Ta-ta!